Wake me up inside. Uh, man, so yesterday, huh? Yesterday, things definitely happened. Hey there, everyone, this is Aokao, and on The Stranger, we found that what I had dubbed a clickety machine out of no really any better name. The game calls it Artifact. I just think that's too generic. It makes it hard to talk about because there's like a lot of things that can be referred to as an artifact, but anyways, I pressed the wrong button. That happens a lot. There we go. Anyways, turns out they are a little Ethernet ports used to access the owl net. Uh, a little uh, go away paradise for potentially dead people. Yeah, that part I'm less sure about. Like, I'm pretty sure it is a simulation and not actually warping. The uh, my number one sort of argument for that being that there are mummies left there. Like the bodies are clearly left there. Now, you could think, well, maybe they're being uploaded to another body on their home planet, Avatar style. To which I respond, once I was in Owl Space, uh, I definitely still had my Hearthian body, but like with like patched up clothes and like none of my spacesuits, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't know where I am spatially. I'm somewhere. That's all you need to know. So, uh, number one thing I want to discover today, but luckily this is not gonna take very long to discover. There are four flames out in the world. Uh, four potential entrance port. And so, my question is, all right, do they all lead to the same place? Like, there's a possibility that, I don't know, man, like, they all just go to the same area, the same spawn point. There's also a possibility, so just, it's the water. The water is the good path. Got it. Right, they're, uh, the water afraid. That's the English that I'm using. Whoops. Uh, yeah, so, like, there's a possibility that they all lead to the same spawn point. But... What I'm hoping is that, well, basically B or C. Either they all lead to completely different little metaverses, which is possible. Or what I think is most likely, um, what I guess I'm calling the C option here, is that, oh, no, no, that's where I got this. Is that they all lead to different access points to the same world. But... This is something we're gonna have to find. Whoa. How did that happen? It kinda got caught in the or in the border. That's kinda funny. Is there a church here? I don't Yeah, there. Okay, never mind. Alright, so there we go. We're gonna be able to find that out real nice and quick. Because turns out doing this is pretty easy. Hiding things behind knowledge. Alright, so which is a good one? This one? Alright. So you... Get out of here. Like I just need to put you where you, there won't even be like an incidental light. Uh, is that too incidental? Is it you? Oh no, I picked up from the wrong place. How did- <laughs> Alright, never mind. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Alright, so here we go here. I don't know where I am. Going down these stairs, I almost tripped, but I can't. Alright, good times, good times, good times. Let's go to sleep. Interrupt the sleep. I mean... I awaken in a similar area. This lamp is so bad, but you know what? If maybe they have the owl's secret ability of being able to see really nicely in the dark, and so for them, everything being way too dark is, you know, a feature. A feature of good. I think I'm at... A different area than I was yesterday. I mean, it looks similar. 
trees and wooden constructions. Oh no, see here there's a pond. So, can confirm. I cannot... Can I go in the water? Mm, nothing's stopping me. Whoop! <gasps> oh! So, my flame is, or at least the metaphor of the flame is real, and acts like a flame, because there I doused it in water by sheer accident. And uh, I woke up. Oh, so, okay, <laughs> you know what? This feels like a good time to know this. Right here, right at the start. Uh, Alright, so this is why water, then, can become an obstacle. Well... Why don't we just leave it there? Ooh, it's still nice and directed though. I wanna swim over there. I can't. Light is very bad. Um, if I put it here. Ah, uh, like it's hard to tell. Ah. Uh, what was that? Where am I? Oh, am I drowning? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> that sounded like drowning, but... Um... Um... What just happened? I put you down. Because I was like, hey... Maybe I can use your spread of light to be able to see anything. Uh, the path is this way, right? Yeah. M moving back, moving back, moving back. I'm not sure. Okay, I might need more area. I... I super screwed up. I have no idea where I am at this point. I think I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> Shrouded woodland, by the way. Okay, I still have my thing, right? Because it's the same, uh... Session. I'm being so aggressive, my poor shit. Alright. <laughs> We're back. That was embarrassing. I got lost in the dark and I couldn't find myself. I I, I don't know where I was facing, just mistakes were made. Alright. Not even exploring this place, we're already just doing science, but that just feels appropriate. And I'm back here, right? Like, it's not just like, this isn't gonna change every time. When I'm in focus, I start to walk really slowly. There's a door. Alright, so this should be safe enough, then. Go on top up here. There's a chair. This is a lookout of some kind. I'm just kind of looking around here. Yeah, there's water everywhere, and that's probably for a reason. Alright, okay, so, putting you down here. I'm walking in this direction. Uh, look at that, it's my th I can't actually see it. Uh, mighty leap, I can kind of see it. <laughs> that is so cool looking! Wow! I mean, honestly, this is... I feel like this answers my question of... Boy, I would like to see more. So... Confirmed, if I had any doubts up to now... We are in a simulated reality, and uh... The clickety machine... Is our anchor point. It is the filter which lets us see the world. As tempted I am to explore 
in this mode? I don't know if I'm, like, actually able to interact with things. Like, can I spot the object that I've been wanting to interact with? It's over there, for example. But I will say, it's a lot easier to, like, see, though. Can I interact with you? I can? I can still interact with the world. I don't know what just happened. Oh, did that erase the door, I wonder? Like, the same way that I used a flame like that to create a bridge. Did that erase this door? Yes. Yes, because that's a lot simpler than just opening and putting a door handle. Well, maybe it's supposed to be like a private access and this is how they lock things. They just make something appear or not. But yeah, the reality... Yeah, it's because of the limits on my ability to see. This just makes it a lot easier to see things. But it does not let me interact with you. Um, alright. Maybe it's because the object that I ended up interacting ended up being in my circle of influence anyways. Because now... I don't know. Focus. Ooh, so you focus into okay, but I could probably extinguish. I summoned a little friendly boat. You just got a little pal here, a little friendo. Boop. All right, yeah, let's take a tour. And not be able to see much during my tour. So that's where I come from. And that's a tree. I wonder if I had abandoned it, if the boat would still have been there. I could have rid on that. That seems to be a tall building. I'm hearing s sound from it. So, probably not the same mansion I was at before. Uh-oh, it's the dark tunnel part of the ride. Oh, but I'm all alone on my little raft. Uh, Alright. Do you think it'll stop at places? See, I feel like that tunnel might have hidden a loading zone. Maybe even a loading zone in the universe. Oh, wait a sec. I don't need um, to push it with uh, the light anymore. It's just advancing on its own. Like here, like that kind of looks like a big tower, right? So, there's a possibility that that's where the tower will be. Yeah, I'm more the more I'm going through this, the more I think this might be a option C. But uh, this is not something I'm gonna know like right now. It looks an awful lot like the tower. Like they just recreated it here. There's a door there. See, the issue is that this is a boat and it's on water. And it looks like I can't swim. Because last time I just walked in a puddle and just drowned. Like, I couldn't even jump out and stuff. I guess my little Hearthian is a bit reliable, relying on... Wow, yeah, like, I'm, I have my light focused on and there's nothing. The universe just does not exist right now. And then it does. Yeah. There's a big old fun time canyon. If you like rocks and darkness... This is gonna be a good place for- no, yeah, like, again. If they're all descended from something that is similar to our owls, and also have <laughs> space-induced bioluminescence that they can summon from their eyes, the fact that this is all so dark for them is probably, like, an actually desirable feature. Okay, so there are stops on this- on this trip. Uh, except the boat didn't stop. I stopped. But I could summon. Whoosh, a new one. Got it. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, well. I mean, you're here, I guess, but. Oh, wait, maybe this continues? Maybe it doesn't. Really? Why is this here? 
there any, uh, is there like a control here that I didn't notice? Doesn't look like it. Lottie is, boat is still there. Um, I love how there's a little rail for the boat. Ah, uh, now I do want to, okay, yeah, that's the rail for the elevator. I mean, there's stuff going on up there. I just cannot do anything from here. I think I'm going to summon a boat and go on it in the internet instead. Assuming I have time. Because it's easier to see things. Well, I mean, what I can do is I do that, I summon it. I, I, I leave it here. So I board it while everything is hunky-dory. Eh. Oof. But it's going to keep moving, right? So, but, like, yeah, I'm not going to have the option of, like, making it go faster. But I don't know if that's an option I want, honestly. <laughs> this is such a cool scene, though. Like, this looks so rad. Oh, yeah, see, like, like, so there's, like, a wall. I think that's, like, a simulator wall or something. All right, well, let's see what happens here when we go through the canyon. It does literally fade out. And there's no more rail. Okay, a new set of rail appears. So they are distinct loading points. Well, 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 well. If it isn't our old pal, the diving bell. Just chilling there. Big old chains. Here's the thing, though. Um, if I disembark here, I cannot interact, probably, with some things. So I think I probably shouldn't disembark. Like, I'm seeing this. This is my world tour, right? Like, yeah, like, here I have the option of stepping out and checking it out. But I should not take this opportunity. Because there's a possibility that I cannot interact with things that I cannot fully see. That's just the reality of it. But, but, what this affords me, though, is a really, really nice look at the shape of things. How things are structured. How they are organized. So that once I'm back here, without the ability to see anything, <laughs> well, at least I'll have um, something I can base myself off of, you know? All right, well, let's continue the tour. Like I saw something that reminded me of the tower. That's clearly the bell of diving. I guess this could be where I was yesterday. Whoa, something like popping in and out there. Oh, there's an actual guy. Okay. Frame rate's kind of weird here. That's the dam bursting, probably. So here's a dude. It's chilling. It's tempted to go out and explore, but whoa! What? Oh! 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 This place flooded. Oh! God damn it. Okay. Um important lesson here um whatever it is i have to do there i have a time limit the entrance at a tower is gonna have a time limit also and the ravine's not gonna have a time limit nor the diving bell i want to go to the diving bell let's do that is there a boat around that I can commandeer? Alright, so we're approaching downtown. I've never been this little cove before, right? I don't know if there's anything here. I guess there's a possibility that there could be something here, like, pre-flooding. I don't know, it's just like a weird little dead end. There's a rock sticking out. If you're into that, Hey, little boat friend. 
Going to bring me on the second leg of today's adventure. Master Diving Bell, where everything I feel leads to, as there are three seals on you, and I've seen movies of three people starting a fire put out, like, well, to tie on all three seals. Very curious. Why do I want to open that? I don't know, because it's there. Basically. Like, there's no, not really, like, a better reason. Yeah, this is where you'd be, but you're not. It's a, like, like, you know, what if they have a very good reason to seal this in? What, what 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 if me deciding to unseal this due to scientific curiosity is actually a really really bad idea I and mean, maybe it is that's for you this makes a lot of sense now a bit more still not the most precise method of input though I guess they just don't want to press things. Uh, yeah. So, do I vaguely recognize this from my world tour? Less than I was hoping for. <laughs> Are those the torches? That looks an awful- I mean, it's a torch. Huh, not what I was expecting. Well, there is- you are. Can't read this even though I'm here. Rotate! Oh, uh, y yeah. Hi. There. Yeah, that's a tower. What are you showing me? Yeah, that's a tower. Why are you showing me that? Yeah, it's the tower in 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 the thing, right? It's all dark. Yeah, I, I, I've been through this process. What did that just tell me? The lights went off in the tower, in the secret tower room. And, uh... And, yeah, and the door happens? <sighs> password, user interface, you got a password. You got a torch there. You got a password that's gonna, like, summon that boat. You got a password, and you got a torch there. You got the tower, you got the first village, and you got the cliffside village. Three entrance port for Owlnet. Three passwords? I don't know what's stopping me here, though. Um... Bemos. I mean, they probably do something, right? <laughs> okay. Really? Really, 
end of time, this is the worst timing you've ever had. <sighs> or maybe not. That is funny. So that's what those things are? It's a bell? <laughs> I thought it was like an antenna or something, a sensor. Oh, that's funny. <sighs> three passwords for three seals. But also there's stuff going on in the real world. Because I got a memory trip within a memory trip telling me all about Amway or the secret door inside a tower if the lights are off. Like, I wonder if it's just hang out there when there's no light. Like, this would have been the ideal time to give that a shot. But then I heard, you know, the song of our people. Oh, man. All right. Well, let's wait for the Ash Twin. Oh, boy. Tyranny of choice is striking. Like, what do I tackle tomorrow? I don't know. But I'll figure it out. There we go.